We have team coverage tonight on new incentives from the governor and whether neighbors think it's going to work or not. Plus, a gun found on school property. Hey, everybody, I'm Nicole Baker. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News Baltimore. And I'm Rick Ritter. Now, that gun was found at Connections. It's a community based art school earlier this morning, and that student has now been arrested. Annie Rose Ramos live at the school. Annie Rose, you got reaction. What do folks have to say? Rick and Nicole, a school officer found this gun on a teenage student here at Connections Middle and High School earlier today. That gun was loaded. But school officers say they are growing concern not just by this one incident, but because this is the 11th gun found on school property so far this year. And the majority of those guns have been loaded. Students coming to school with a gun. By deciding to arm themselves, is putting themselves and everyone else around them in danger. Take a look at this loaded handgun found on a 15 year old student Thursday morning at Connections Art School. A mother of a student at Bard School, which shares the same building, says this news isn't surprising. They have had a numerous amount of threats. I know some kids have already transferred, and we are getting ready to transfer her as well. This is the 11th gun found at city schools this year alone. These are photos of some of them. On average, school officers find about five guns per year. Our schools, unfortunately, are a reflection of our community. We see increased levels of violent crimes going on in our communities, and our schools are not immune to that. Last week, an 18-year-old student was shot outside Dunbar High School. Oh, my God. Somebody got shot. It frustrates all of us. Now, the president of the union representing the school police force says his officers are only waiting and worrying for the next incident they believe is sure to come. Our officers are reporting concern. Uh, they're scared that uh, in one of these incidents, we're not going to be as lucky that the firearm will be used. Now, City Schools confirms that that student from Connections is now in police custody. In addition to finding a gun on him, they also found what they believe to be marijuana as well as other controlled substances. I'm Annie Rose Ramos reporting for WJZ.